Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Capsule Monster Coliseum HD. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be moving on to the next area, the Condemned Warehouse, where we got to take on the wood opponent, Tristan Taylor. Tristan Taylor's wood team is going to be a little annoying, but thanks to Joey giving us a Fire Reaper, we probably will stand a chance. Still, I better pick better monsters, because wood does beat my water team. Oh no, wait, wind does. Ha! I could fight them with my water team. Get wrecked, Tristan. At least he's about to. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like this! That is looking real good. It's like we're about to play Resident Evil on PlayStation. No, honestly, holy crap, this is like House of the Dead or Resident Evil right now. It's me, the man, the legend, Tristan Taylor. One of the worst duelists in my tournaments. Yugi, I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games. But, but I have beat you. Lightly, I'm gonna make you pay. I know. That's why I'm going to use all my skills to defeat you. This map makes me feel like I have to. This is horrifying. No matter who my opponent is, I will use all my strength to defeat you. Okay. That is my proof as a true duelist. Bring it then. Oh. Um maybe you don't need to use all your skills. <laughs> All right, Tristan's starting to realize he may you have know, made a mistake. Just some, please. Nope, you want all of them, and you will receive them. All right, so this looks like an interesting board. The card looks like he wants this one. Aha, I was right. It's like I'm robbing him. I always want to go first. It gives you such an advantage. Just like in real old Yu-Gi-Oh, going first was always the best. Alright, so his wood board, he's got two wood pieces, an electric piece, and an electric piece. Thunder is weak to earth. I wonder if I have any earth monsters. I feel like I do. Alright, select. Earth monsters, earth monsters. I do have earth monsters, I have larvas. But as you can see, my white dolphin was killed last game, so I can't use them this game. Which sucks, because moving three spaces would be nice. I'm going to choose Larvis. We need Fire Reapers for his wood monsters. And then I need my boss monsters, the Root Water. Even if Thunder... Oh, wait, Thunder Beats Light. Oh, wow, I'm going to wreck this kid. All right, which one of these has the best experience? Capability, let's see. This one, experience has 38. That's not bad. 58, that's a lot better. And 24. All right, we're going to get with this guy. And then... He doesn't have anything that would uh, hurt my wood monsters either. But I am a water team, so I should probably... I could go for another Larvis just in case. I don't know if I need to, but I could. I already got two Fire Reapers. Psychic Kappas are cheap, but they're not that cheap. I'm going to go with Larvis. Yeah. My new team. I'm glad this uh, starter deck gave me Earth Monsters. That actually did help a lot. Alright, my symbol will be placed right here. I want to be able to summon my monsters as close as possible. Of course, I would like to manually place my monsters. Larvis. You attack in a weird way, and I'm assuming that Electrified Field over there is going to hurt you. Hmm. Well, this looks like a Poison Field over here, but I have to assume we can walk through that. Uh, yes. I, I just realized my symbol doesn't matter. Wait. You know what? No, I'm going to start my symbol somewhere out of the way. I didn't realize that I can only summon right here. I thought I would summon around the symbol. Kind of like in Duels to the Roses, but no. Alright. Larvis, I want one of you guarding our flank. That's good. The other Larvis will be going on to the side. No, in the middle. Yeah. I want my Fire Reapers leading the pack. Yes, Fire Reapers will lead the pack. And my Root Water will also be in the front, too. Root Water is just a really good monster. It's like Fire Reaper with its two, atta two movement, two attack. I don't have to worry about uh, a weird placement. God, this horror music and everything. It's like he's trying to scare me. 
But Tristan Taylor, I'm not scared of you. I've saw I've I've seen you get beat up before. It's time to start. By a future cop. All right, let's see. These cost 50 to summon, so wait, what about fire reapers? They cost 55. So I'm going to go ahead and summon two larvas. That way I can be able to play more next turn. There we go. We got 210 AP for next turn. Most of my turns are spent summoning. So he's got two electric monsters and two wood monsters. So technically he's a mixed deck, okay. but it's fine. I gotta think like two moves ahead. That's a good Which play. Which I'm not exactly good at. So think one move ahead. <laughs> if he can't do two, do go do one. Wow. He has a lot more AP than I do to start. And he's using a terrible monster like Petite Moth. Alright, that's a terrible wood monster to have as your leader. Now, Kamio... Oh god, I can't remember that guy's name. It's like Kamio Wizard and... That looks like uh, Steel Scorpion. They made it an electric type, huh? Alright, well that's something turn. I'll have to deal with. Let's go ahead and resummon our mo or summon our other monsters. The other guy costs 55, and this guy costs 72, so I should be able to summon everybody. Maxing out my AP bar for the fight. Alright, and now we could start moving in. Of course, I didn't pick any super weak monsters like those petite moths, so it does take me a little longer to get moving. And he already has maximum 300 AP. He's moving in there, yep, that makes sense. You would think a wood guy would want to fight, like, in a plant area, but no, this guy wants to fight in a hor- Oh, that's a lot of movement. He wants to fight in a horrifying freaking, uh, factory. But, you know, to each their own. I guess I can't judge. Alright, we're gonna start our movement. Fire Reaper is our most important monster. Because it can destroy those moths very easily. So let's move them forward. Larvis is our next most important monster because it can take down those electric types easily. I just got to be careful where I have them stand. Rootwater is just one of my best monsters in general, so I want him to be ready for anything. Alright, that's good. And finally, my final Larvis will move forward with it. There we go. I will now stop moving the pieces. Let's see what this guy does. I have my plan for you, Tristan Taylor. You cannot scare me off with your horror music. But you also could stop playing it. It is, it, you know what? It's getting to me. God, that guy's already moving into my zone. He's almost here. Maybe I leave root water behind to fight it in case it tries to get to my, my piece. You can move your piece, but I think it costs 50 to move them. I don't feel like doing that at the moment. Alright, I see that thing's in my way. I'm gonna move forward with this piece. In case that other electric one goes on this path, I need to move this Larvis forward. Somewhere where he can help out. And finally, Root Water. This place seems to be okay for you. See, if that guy tries to come anywhere near you, I want you ready. You are in the same boat. I want you ready as well. Do not let him near my space. So, Tristan, you said you'd think two moves ahead. What's your actual plan? This map is huge. So let's see. All the maps are actually pretty big. Let's see. He's just moving forward. That guy's coming in, but he's not moving as fast as he could be moving. That guy's running. Ah, the electricity does hurt me. Okay. It might not be worth pushing you through then. And there's the poison. Something we're going to have to deal with no matter what. I'm guessing only wood pieces can survive poison. Yeah. I take damage there. All right. They got me. I've been debated. But it's okay. I'll be able to take him out still. All right. I don't like this uh, current setup. It feels like I've played myself. We're going to move you forward. My reapers will just power through the poison. We're going to move you forward over here. Larvis, you can't really do much there. I've already put you in this zone, so you're going to keep moving. Wait, hold up. Before I even make that silly mistake, let's see how far he can attack. 
One, two, one, two. All right. Good to know. I'm going to keep taking the 15 damage and force my way through as if a child would do that. And then Root Water will defend the base for now. That Larvis over there also needs to... Yeah. Alright, so what are you going to do now, Tristan? You got me in your trap, but I'm willing to take the trap if it means killing your pieces. You're positioning yourself in a way where I would have to hit you. Interesting. Uh-huh. Yes. I could take the chip damage. It's a mere 15. Nothing we can't handle. Alright. Granted, it's adding up. <laughs> and I need to move faster. So what we're going to do... We're going to move you forward. Baiting the opponent into attacking you. And we're going to use your massive HP bar to beat him. Then you, Fire Reaper... Can only move one space forward. It's a shame, but that's how the map is built. This Fire Reaper also can't do much right now. A shame, but that's how it's built. Larvis will stay back, because we don't know if our opponent has a strategy for us. Petite Moth can only move two and attack one. It's not a very good card, or monster. But it gets a lot better after evolution. The last time I played this game, I fully evolved it by the end of the Let's Play. This time, I'm going to go for different monsters. Hmm. Yeah, root water, hold down the hold down the fort. Now let's see if I baited that scorpion into attacking me. Because if it does attack me, I can attack it. That guy. Ooh, he can attack me. I didn't know that. Oh crap, do I die? Oh crap, I didn't know he could attack me like that. He's out he outplayed me. I should have I should have been paying attention to where that guy was positioned. Even if the Petite Moth can hit me, this guy can! No! Got me on, Wizard! Leave me alone! Thunderbolt! Alright, his Thunderbolt. I need more than 15 HP left. Under 23. Okay! I lived. I still have a chance! That's right, Fire Reaper. You stood you stood your ground. I baited that guy into attacking me, which was part of the plan. He does a hundred damage to me. That's gonna suck, but we have a lot of HP to work with. I think. I know we're on his map advantage, so he's going to do more damage than usual. Mon Larvis, despite resisting it, will take a lot of damage. Oh, he slashes and stings? Damn it. How dare you. 100 damage. As long as we have more than 15 HP, it's fine. That moth is coming back to stop my Larvis. That map is, moth is running away from that uh, reaper. 15 damage. Alright, my larvis might be as good as dead. And that fire reaper in the front is as good as dead. But, it survived long enough. To get one hit off. And, Kamio Wizard doesn't like it here either. So if I can get him to stay here, I might get him to kill himself. I just have to keep him hungry. I'm ahead! I'll... I'm ahead, but not by much. <laughs> Alright. Coming into his base now. I could still attack backwards, so it's fine. How much do I do to our electric friend here? I almost kill it. Shit. If only I could kill it. I'm going to die next fight. I'm losing Fire Reaper and Larvis. It may be a shame. And I love that the pieces actually are damaged, like they lose pieces of themselves. Larvis goes in for the slash attack. Oh, Fury Swipes, my bad. I only get two hits. And that's why that Steel Crapper survives. Alright, turn two experience there. Ah! Take it easy! I know, right? Alright, Fire Reaper. You're gonna die anyway, so do everything you can before death. How much damage? 115. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Alright. My Fire Reaper is looking strong. 
It may not look like much, but it adds up, because that guy, if he wants to kill my other piece, has to stay in the poison. He will live in the poison, damn it. It's just, it's a good amount, though. Alright, you're at 35 experience. Oh, come on, take it easy. I'm not taking it easy. I'm going ha I'm going ham. Alright, I sadly can't get out of the poison. My positioning's a little poor on that. I also can't take Cameo Wizard's attack. Which means I have to fall back. I I'm already this deep, I gotta keep moving. If I'm already this deep, we gotta keep going. Just gotta keep moving in. It's a shame. It hurts, but we gotta do it. Root water? I don't know what to do with you, honestly. Like, obviously, obviously they'll eventually have to come from my base if they want a chance at winning. But, I've already sacrificed so many pieces. I don't know if root water can do it. I don't know if he could take them all on. He moved even further in. He wasted it. He wasted his attack. Alright, thanks to him wasting his attack, I actually can win this. Oh, I got so lucky. I got so lucky he was willing to go to in. Me feel all good no, you're actually playing well. Later. No, no, you're doing really well. Except for that play. That play was terrible. This play works. I can't I can't keep that Larvis alive. He will die here, everybody. I know it's like, no, Cooper, he's got an HP left. Yeah, well, I think he's just barely one space in the electric zone. That guy I would love to fight, but I don't have a chance. All right, 15 damage or one damage. I've lost a Larvis piece that I won't be able to use next fight. This Larvis is starting to take damage. This Larvis is also, or this Fire Reaper is starting to take damage. That wizard will die next turn, but if I let it attack, hmm. If I let it attack me, I'll lose another piece and it won't be worth it. I think I'd rather I just take the hit. I, I'd rather kill it and uh, move less spaces. So this guy can't come after my boss token yet. His strongest piece right here is going to be killed. Unless, I think Larvis can kill it now that I think about it. If Larvis kills it, it's even better. Yes, okay. Because then I can move my Fire Reaper as far as I want. See, look at that. It's No, I totally planned to do that the whole time. I don't know why you guys... No, no, don't worry about what I said. This was my plan the whole time. I baited him in. Yes. He could have just played safe and probably beat me, but instead he went aggressive. And now he's going to have to take on my Larvis. Fury Swipes, go! Ah, time out! Time out! Oh shit, did you hurt yourself? We need a timeout, coach! He sprained his arm throwing his capsule pieces in the wrong positions. Alright. Ah, with that guy gone, things only look downhill from here. We finally killed one of his pieces, and it was the most important one. Those larvas may be his boss, but they're not very good. Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna end there. Whoops. I, I keep forgetting what the button is for end. It's circle, isn't it? Nope, triangle? Nope. No, definitely not triangle. I'm not into that. End turn, yes. Alright, all I have to get through are some freaking petite moths. You think I'm scared of moths? I could take on any moth. Why are they going that way, though? They really think they could take on root water. Root water will defend the base, and then my two fire... Uh, my fire reaper larvis combo can take out your boss piece. In this game, I don't have to go after your monsters. I could simply take out the boss himself. Yeah, your little heck? summoning piece. I'll finish this duel quickly. I'm trying to, Yugi. I'm trying to. I'm sorry that you have to be in the poison. That really does suck. Alright, we're gonna move this guy forward so he can get to the piece faster. Larvis will join him as soon as he can. Luckily, Larvis, even though he only attacks one weird direct, uh, diagonal direction, he at least can move two spaces. Alright, the Scorpion will eventually have to come through here. So that means if, as long as I'm standing right here, it'll never be able to hit me. <laughs> Which means if it tries to go for my boss piece, it dies. And the only thing he has to defend himself are two little freaking petite moss, which are the weakest monsters in the game, I think. So yeah, I feel pretty safe right about now. He's going to start moving his boss piece. That's how much fear is going to be in his heart. Watch this. It's going to run to the corner. But he can't run away from a Fire Reaper. Its movement is too good. Oh, he's charging in. He realizes he can't beat me. So he has to just charge. 
That's sad. He realizes he can't even defend himself, so he's charging. It's a race to destroy each other's boss pieces, but I left behind a root water, which means he can't win that exchange. And my Fire Reaper still has enough HP to move in. Because sure, my Larvis might struggle against killing your boss piece, but my Fire Reaper's perfect for it. And, even if you ask your uh, Petite Moss to retreat to defend your boss piece, Fire Reaper has type advantage. Everything worked out in the end. Alright, so let's go ahead and move in this zone. I think we're still in the poison, sadly, but it's fine. Alright, and turn. I'm, I already got everybody where I want them. Alright, what are you going to do with your boss piece now? You starting to worry? I'm getting closer. <laughs> got him to worry. Alright, cost him 50 just to do that. They are falling back. Oh, okay. At least he's keeping the fight interesting. He knows my Reaper's low on HP, but I know that his Petite Moss can't move very far. They only have two movement and one attack range, which is not good. I could take advantage of that, and I will take advantage of that in order to stop him. Alright. Those Petite Moths, even if they both move two spaces, can't stop me. Larvis is finally going to get out of this horrible zone. And is going to go over here. Now, sadly, Larvis is in a spot where he would actually be in danger. But Fire Reaper can come and help if need be. Now, this guy did position himself well. Because now he can hit me. But if I, if I just keep moving up and down, he'll never hit me. He has to make the first aggressive move. Still, let's see if those Petite Moths can do anything to my team. Because I am going to have to deal with them before I can move forward. Yeah, you better run. I'm coming. No, the Petite Moths want me more than anything. That is at least interesting. Oh, you want to die. <laughs> He's like, no, I need your boss piece. You figured, out, you figured it out. I have to kill you. You fool. You fool. Attack. All right, we're going to get rid of this thing once and for all. There it goes. I destroyed the Steel Scorpion, which means now I can capture it. Which part of Take It Easy do you not understand? Which part of Get Good do you not understand? Come on, Tristan. I expect more from you. All right. So, one, two, one. The way these guys are positioned, they can attack me with both of them. However, I will now position myself in a way where if they try to do something like that, they are the ones that pay for it. Because they know that they can move one, two, but if I move one, two over here, I get attacked. If I move one, two down here, only one of them can attack me. The question is, how much damage can they do? Could they do 69 damage? And also, if I were to attack them, can I simply kill them anyway? Ooh, they would live. Hmm. You know what? He got me in a weird position. Because if I move two over here, I get poisoned. Sure, I don't get killed, but I get poisoned. And then they both move two and I can't attack with Mon Larvis. If I move two up, then they'll simply move two up and chase me. That buys me more time, actually. But if I go aggressive, they can only move one space over. Oh, no, this one body blocks me. Never mind. If I move one space over, only one of them can attack me, but then that helps. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run upwards. I know I'm kind of cornering myself here, but it makes sense. Trust me. Larvis is going to be the key to winning that fight. And I could start bringing Root Water over. It just, it's going to hurt him a little bit. Because obviously if I fail, I need to have a backup plan. I'm still getting used to the buttons, guys. Or I could press Surrender and make it easier on him. Because I feel bad for him. Does the wood piece have a lot of defense? Because it's not, a, not in a good zone. So they are just going to chase. That was expected. Them chasing was part of the plan. Next turn, no matter what, I have to take a hit. Fire Reaper is going to have to take a hit no matter what. But it, give, it gave me time to get Larvis into a position that helps. So, if I were to move here, Larvis can now kill one of the pieces. If they both can't kill me, I can kill them. So Fire Reaper will go after this one. It's at a disadvantage, so it takes massive damage. 
Petite Moth is the one of the weakest pieces in the entire game. So I can expect that it can't kill me in Remember, one bite. Yugi, it's going to take you both. Heard my monster. I'm going to repay you ten times back. Oh, are you just going to start beating Yugi in real life? Because you can't win in the monster game. Uh, before I do anything else, I should start moving Root Water into position. Because if this plan does fail, I need my monster in a space where he could actually help out. Um, right here is the first position. All right. Move there, and we'll come over there in time. I don't want to turn this into a race, but it might have to be. And the only way he kills my piece is if he has two petite moths left, which, as long as he moves the way I want him to, I guarantee he doesn't. Let's see. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got that one out of the way. And I live on top of that. All right. I don't get to have my amazing 69 HP, but I live this attack. But that doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. What matters is that, because uh, I'm going to die to the other Petite Moth, is that Larvas can kill the first Petite Moth. And then Root Water can win, guaranteed. Even if Larvas somehow dies, Root Water wins me the, the, the Coliseum battle. And that's what matters more than anything. The Petite Moth will get an attack on my Larvas, but like I said, they have the weakest attack. There was a weird little silk string they had there, but let's just get rid of it. Sorry, guys. I lost both of my larvices. My larvae. But hmm. they did good. Have to keep my concentration. You're doing good, Tristan. You're doing good. But, at the end of the day, I have two pieces left and you only have one. That's going to be what makes that's gonna be what makes the difference. Root water. We could just play defensively, but we're not going to. We're going to move in. I'm not going to be that cruel to the man. Larvis, you already have the attack zone that you needed. And we could destroy one of these. Now we have monster advantage. Yep. Oh, I didn't lose both my larvas. I forgot. I lost one. I lost both my fire reapers. So I will not have a fire monster for next game. Which could be a bad thing. I kind of... Those are kind of helpful. Alright. I figured you out, Tristan. You're pretty good. This map is honestly just really annoying. But you're pretty good. Let's see what you can do. And for those of you that are curious, yes, there are like 25 different maps in this game. It's freaking awesome. This is a really well-made game. He did how much damage? 114! Holy shit, that was not the number I was expecting. I was expecting like 60, but that's only on fire monsters. Alright, Root Water, we, uh... Yeah, we might need you. I can't outrun this uh, Petite Moth, so it's gonna kill my, my other guy. Which means... The base race has begun. Truly begun. I thought I would actually be able to take on Petite Mouth 1v1. I was incorrect. Well, let's move him over here. That way he has to... Oh, actually, if he just moves straight down, he'll be fine. I was going to say, if I just move over here, it'll take him longer. If I move all the way over here, it will take him longer. But then I don't do any damage to him. I should just try to hurt him. Let's see. I do 103 back, and he doesn't have a lot of HP left. But he's getting four defense from this area. That's why he's so tanky. Oh, I have him. I just don't have enough HP because of all the poison and stuff. Damn it. If only I had more HP, I'd actually be able to win right now. Instead, we're going to have to go for the long game. Luckily, Petite Moth can't kill my 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 piece. Actually, it can. It has two, attack it has two movement. All right, he got me. Tristan Taylor has brought this down to a 1v1, a very close match. Next time I'm going to bring wood, uh, one, wood pieces when I play this for the third time on my channel. <laughs> Alright, my card is getting, or my monster is getting really weak. Just walking over there costs him, what, 60 HP? But as long as I could take 100 damage, I assume I could beat that Petite Moth. That thing did 103 to my other guy, Rootwater is my strongest piece. Yeah, I think I could take him. If he tries to fight me, there. If he doesn't, then I'm just going after the pe the boss piece. And I will kill it. Okay, he's going after my piece. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I wonder, if I were to move this piece into, say, electricity, would it only take 13 damage? Because it's got 340 HP. Yeah, I have a lot of HP on my piece. 
Okay, this is the last turn we have to take electric damage. That piece is stuck in a corner where I will be able to hurt it no matter what. He's coming after my piece, but if I move my piece to the electric zone, I might be safe no matter what. But I'm afraid that electricity will just like one-shot it because it's made of water. Who knows? Even though, wait, no. Electricity only beats light. Which is a really hard thing to think of. Alright, I'm here. What does electricity beat then? It beats light. Then water loses to wind instead. Okay. That's weird. Might make sense, but it's weird. Alright, so Petite Moth is still going in towards my piece. And I'm still getting my piece to run away. Hell, if I hide in the electricity, he'll die before I do. <laughs> Just trying to get to me. I'm moving towards his boss piece. My root water is on the way. Come on, Tristan. What you got? What you got? You afraid? You afraid I'm going to break your piece before you can break mine? I don't know how much uh, strength your piece has, how much power points it has, but mine is 340. That's like the second highest in the game. The water piece is really tanky. And it may only be able to move one space at a time, but it's running. <laughs> it's running. All right. Now... No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Now we position ourselves in a way... If it moves upwards, we hit it, and if it doesn't move, we just move one to the right, guaranteed attacks. Once we move one to the right, we guarantee a hit. Okay, he moved upwards, so he's willing to let me hit him once. Petite Moth realizes. Okay, good. Petite Moth realizes that it's a victory for me. I'm already- I moved faster than he did. While he was spending time hurting me, I walked through the electricity to get here. So, if I move one to the right, I guarantee attacks for the next few turns, or I get an attack right now. Let's go ahead and get an attack right now. How tanky is it? It's 220 defense. Okay. It's got 220 defense, and it has uh, it's uh, our HP. It has a lot of defense if my boss monster is only doing 88. But I get 10 experience every time I hit it. Holy crap. That's a lot of experience. Killing an enemy is 20. Hitting a boss is 10. Or hitting a to token or totem or whatever is 10. Alright, so now he's hiding over there knowing I can't hit him. The Team Moth is coming because it knows I can't lose in this 1v1. So, I position my piece, say, right here, and I can't not hit him anymore. He's done. That's a guaranteed loss. I win. Checkmate. Too bad this game doesn't have a checkmate. I mean, it's actually good that it doesn't, because this is how you grind experience, which is important. Don't ever pretend like it's not. Petite Moth is still on the way, but it might not make it in time. I only need two attacks to win the fight, which means I win in two turns. My boss piece doesn't need to move anymore. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and attack you. Yep, we're almost done. One more attack and we kill it. Ten more experience. We're two experience away from leveling up. I'm going to end my turn. Next turn, guaranteed victory. You can't run from a 2-2, which is why I brought Fire Reaper over here earlier. Sadly, they couldn't survive the Petite Moth onslaught. There are too many of them. And that's game. Petite Moth, you were one turn too late. You were three turns too late, but it's okay. This is why you need to think two turns ahead like I did when I decided to move Root Water into the electricity. But that's okay. You did your best. I respect you, Tristan. You're definitely better than Joey, but Joey definitely got unlucky that I picked the water team. So, I'm not going to blame Joey. Let's just go ahead and get this a victory. You. How much do you get for destroying a boss piece if I get 10 just for attacking it? Because this is a lot of experience we're talking about. Why do you have to aim for my symbol? Because I didn't want to... I wanted to win the game. <laughs> and that's the best way to win. Is attacking the symbol. Yamayugi, King of Games, is the victory player. This horror map has been dealt with. <sighs> I knew I didn't stand a chance against an expert like you. Keep it up, Yugi. I'm counting on you to win it all. Thank you. Thank you, Tristan. All right, Tristan, a hundred experience. Oh, shit. I need to kill those more often. Hell yeah, Rootwater. Level up all that. Landform, AE rates, hell yeah. 
My rates went up, my defense went up, my attack sadly didn't. But my defense went up. I can live with that. <laughs> Level up for root water, everybody. My boss piece, uh, that's the one I'm using as a boss piece, is the best. And with that, we can save the... Oh, wait, first, 220 MP points. Heck yeah. Uh, ever oh, you're the only survivor, so you and uh, the symbol gain experience. Which means you gain another level, this time gaining power points so you could take more hits, but still no attack points. You were already one of my best attackers. Symbol AE rate, you get more. Landform AE rate, you get more. Very good. And now I get to take some of his monsters. I want the electric monsters, since I don't have any. Thunder monsters are joining my team. Now we get to save. Alright guys, we have defeated Tristan Taylor, a mighty duelist, but not quite as strong as Yugi. Next episode, we're going to be going up against even stronger opponents. I'll be seeing you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe.